Today I bring to you all extremely good news. Tua Tungavailoa's future are committed. Superstar Xavier Howard have a big chance to win the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Zach Thomas named finalist for Pro Football Hall of Fame Class of 2021. Here are the detailed information. Dolphins has committed to the future of rookie quarterback Tua Tungavailoa and will certainly build the squad to protect the rookie QB. During his season-ending press conference on Tuesday, Dolphins general manager Chris Greer said Tungavailoa doesn't have anything to be concerned about. Tua, we're very happy with, Greer said. He's our starting quarterback. He did a nice job this year coming in as a rookie with no offseason and the challenges of dealing with all that. Very happy with him and looking forward to watching him progress with an offseason here going into next year. After going 5-11 in 2019, Miami's leadership recognizes the progress made in 2020 to reach a 10-6 record as the Dolphins build through the draft. Of the 11 players picked by Miami in the 2020 NFL Draft, 10 played and 8 started at least two games for the Dolphins this season. Tungavailoa led Miami's 2020 draft class, joining the Dolphins from Alabama as the fifth player selected in the first round. Tungavailoa started nine of the final 10 games of the Dolphins' season, missing one because of a thumb injury. Tungavailoa took over from 16-year veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick when Miami returned from its bye week against the Los Angeles Rams on November 1. The Dolphins had a 6-3 record in games started by Tungavailoa, although Fitzpatrick relieved him twice and pulled out a 26-25 victory over the Las Vegas Raiders on December 26 with a fourth-quarter performance to remember. The Dolphins drafted Tungavailoa even though his career with the Crimson Tide ended when he sustained a dislocated hip and posterior wall fracture during an SEC game against, against Mississippi State on November 16. Greer said Tungavailoa and the Miami training staff worked hard after the quarterback joined the Dolphins to recover from the injury, particularly with the constrictions imposed by the coronavirus pandemic. When he was ready, he was ready to go, Greer said, and he did a nice job of working himself throughout the season. Tungavailoa completed his rookie season completing 186 of 290 passes for 1,814 yards with 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. Tungavailoa also ran for 109 yards and 3 touchdowns on 36 carries. His 87.1 passing efficiency rating ranked 26th among the NFL's quarterbacks, between the Dallas Cowboys' Andy Dalton and the San Francisco 49ers' Nick Mullins. The Dolphins hold four of the first 50 picks in the 2021 NFL Draft. They're scheduled to make selections at number 3, number 18, number 36 and number 50. Greer said competition makes every position better, he added Miami wouldn't be trying to replace Tungavailoa with the third pick. We also want to be clear that two is our starter, Greer said, and we're very happy with his development so far. Xavier Howard NFL record since 2007. Dolphins superstar Xavier Howard records his 10th interception of the season. He's the first player with 10 interceptions in a season since Antonio Cromarty in 2007. He also named Dolphins MVP. It likely won't be the last honor he gets this offseason. And there is big chance to win the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. The Miami Dolphins today announced their team award winners for the 2020 season. Cornerback Xavier Howard was named the Dan Marino Most Valuable Player, quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick earned the Don Shula Leadership Award, safety Bobby McCain was named the team's Ed Block Courage Award winner and the team's Social Impact Committee earned the Nat Moore Community Service Award. Howard is the Dan Marino Team MVP for the second time in his career after also winning the award in 2018. He's the first Dolphins player to win multiple Team MVP awards since Ricky Williams in 2009. Williams was also a co-recipient of the award in 2002. Howard is the eighth player to win the Dan Marino Team MVP award at least twice, joining Bob Greasy 1967-68, Larry Chonka Dan Marino 1983-92, Zach Thomas 1996-2001, O.J. McDuffie 1997-98, Jason Taylor 2000-2002, 2004-2006, and Williams 2002-2009. Howard tied the franchise record with 10 interceptions, matching Dick Westmoreland's total in 1967. 
He's the first NFL player since 2007, Antonio Cromartie, to record double-digit interceptions in a season. This award is voted on by South Florida Media and the organization and was renamed the Dan Marino Most Valuable Player Award in 2000, the achievements of Hall of Fame quarterback and 12-time team MVP Dan Marino. Zach Thomas named finalist for Pro Football Hall of Fame Class of 2021. The 15 finalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame Class of 2021 were announced Tuesday night. Dolphins linebacker Zach Thomas is a finalist for the second straight season. Across a storied 13-year career, 12 in Miami, Thomas racked up 1,734 total tackles. His 1,107 solo tackles are fifth most since at least 1994 and more than any linebacker in Canton besides Ray Lewis and Derek Brooks. Thomas intercepted 17 passes in his career and returned four of them for a touchdown, tied for a franchise record. He totaled 20.5 sacks, forced 14 fumbles and recovered eight. Thomas was named first-team All-Pro on five occasions and selected to seven Pro Bowls. He won the Defensive Rookie of the Year award in 1996 and was named to the NFL's All-2000s team. During Thomas's most productive years, Miami's defense was nearly impenetrable. Between the 2000-2003 seasons, Miami ranked 3rd, 11th, 4th and 3rd in the league in scoring defense. Those units never finished outside of the top 10 in total defense with two top five finishes over that four-year span. Thomas earned the respect of his opposition. Former Jets center Kevin Mawe, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2019. He had this to say about the former Dolphins linebacker, Zach Thomas was my nemesis, Mawe said during his induction speech. My first year with the Jets before my first game we played against each other, coach Bill Parcells told me in front of my entire team, if you don't block Thomas, we won't win the game, and for the next 16 matchups I never forgot that. Zach was one of, if not the smartest player I ever faced. He loved the game, had fun when he played and played and brought the best out of me. When people ask me who's not in the Hall of Fame and that I think should be here, it's an easy one for me, number 54 from the Miami Dolphins. This isn't the first time Thomas's name has come up in the Hall of Fame conversation. Thomas was a finalist in 2020. Kyle Brandt on NFL Network's Good Morning Football made his case for Thomas back in 2018. Traditionally, the Hall of Fame class is announced the day before the Super Bowl. This year's big game is February 7 in Last things as usual, I spend 5 hours to give my opinion in the video, but you can do it in just 5 seconds. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I always appreciate your opinion, even when you say I'm bad. Talk it 10 times and in 100 different videos. We all deserve our